Um, okay, so uh, I'm the last one and we are over time, so I'll try to be short. Um, here today I will uh, present the activity of uh, one NGO, which I remember since 2008. And uh, just I want to present its activities, and I think that it will be very interesting for uh, young people like you and for the colleagues that are after you can post uh, most of you can uh, graduate their PhD mm -hmm. students and only some of the professors. Uh, so, but just I want to share some experience and maybe to uh, have some feedback from, from the others about our activities. So uh, what I'm talking about is an NGO called Top Young Scientists, which was founded in 2005, with, uh, with the main idea of promoting the, um, the activities, the scientific activities of the young people in Bulgaria, and uh, trying to help them to develop their ideas. Uh, what are uh, what the goals of these uh, NGO, NGOs, uh, NGO are? Uh, first, to, uh, to build this uh, system of science, technology, uh, engineering, and mathematical uh, skills to provide uh, the young people with uh, professional and career development research uh, to make the networking. Because uh, uh, very often the young people are like alone in, in the beginning of their scientific career. They have support maybe only from their supervisor. But what is it? The most important and uh, what will boost up their career is uh, the networking, so the contacts with, with other scientists in the same field, in the other fields, for sure. Because here I saw, uh, like, uh, you all come from different fields, but in fact, you found, found very common points, right? So if you knew each other before you start these projects, maybe this project would be much better. Of course, you can start a new project. So, um, at least one of the goals of our. Um, of our NGO, and of course uh, the priority is to uh, put the young people in, uh, inside the society. I mean the young scientists inside the society, because according to us, it's not only business education and science, it's business education and society, okay? Because uh, we all work for the society, after that our, um, our target group is the society. Everything goes there, so yes. So uh, you have to be recognized both by the society and of course if you have a good um, impact on, on your work after that. Uh, so uh, we provide different tools and platforms for promoting the, the young scientists. Um, one of them is this innovation and science fair, which includes, includes uh, generally two competitions. These competitions are divided uh, for uh, our much younger colleagues, these are the pupils from the high schools generally, and the others are for students and PhD students. So the one for the uh, for younger scientists or the youngest scientists, uh, so they create uh, a little project, they present their idea, and after that, in this pair, they have to present, uh, in fact, the model that they have created. Okay, so they realize their idea, they materialize it like this. There is a jury who estimates their uh, projects, and after that, the winners, they participate in this uh, um, very good, uh, not only European network competition, like ICF and uh, the INESCO and the exposition in, uh, in Luxembourg. And so on. and they always are like from the awarded uh, participants of these uh, of this fair, of these events. Uh, the other one, in fact, that I'm more familiar with because I'm uh, like the coordinator organizer, is the Young Energetic Scientists Competition. It's about students and PhD students. Both of them, both of the groups, uh, they have to present. Uh, an idea of the project. There is a, a form that I have to fill with a with a project, but it's only the idea. They don't have to represent something that is uh, done. It can be done, or it can be just an idea. But I have to describe it very well. What is the main point here? The main point here is that after the the, the evaluation of this idea is not only by representatives 
from the academia, you know, from the design, but also our representatives from the business. So we try to mix the two points of view. So after that, the, the projects that are scientifically, uh, let's say, correctly, but also interesting from, for, for the business, so they can invest in, this, in the results of these projects eventually, of course. Uh, these for us are the best projects, so they, they get a lot of idea. So uh, this is what we try to do. One of the, of the most of this uh, contest is to make the, uh, the relation between the work of the young scientists and the business. To promote the work of the young scientists among the business. Uh, other opportunity that this uh, contest gives is um, like to give a tribute to the young scientists to present their work, which is very important, in fact. Maybe you remember when you were PhD students or when you were students, uh, it was very difficult for you maybe in the beginning to represent your work. It was always scary, or you think nobody will listen to me, or what am I talking about? It's true, right? <coughs> and um, this is what we're trying to do, to, to give the platform for the, for the young people to represent themselves. Uh, and of course, not last is to uh, after that um, we try to make connections with uh, other scientists from other fields who are interested in this work, like uh, to become their mentors and to develop the idea and to make it in a, in a real project if it's necessary. So the awards are uh, usually for the. Uh, of all the winners are with cash awards, and uh, after that, the uh, impact is the relations with the business and, uh, and the members. Um, okay, I said what is uh, what is important uh, for us. What we're trying to do now is to uh, enlarge this uh, mentors network. So I saw a lot of Bulgarians here. Uh, we have, um, like, it's not an application form, but it's like a questionnaire. So we are looking for Bulgarian scientists who can spend some time, also remotely, it's not necessary to, to be physically connected with the, um, the two parties, um, to like to be advisors or mentors of uh, young scientists who have, uh, of course, uh, very good uh, ideas and to push them up a little bit in their scientific Future, hopefully, uh, in Bulgaria in Europe. Um, we try to uh, to motivate more uh, younger students. That's that's why we create. Uh, it's like a you know, it's like a chain. We start from the high school, then we go uh, to the university, to the first and second level cycle, and we go to the PhDs. So we try to motivate from all the from all the levels the young people to, uh, to continue with the scientific uh, career. Um, okay, that is very short, really. Because that is. Uh, if if you have any questions about uh, everything that we do, of course, I will have to answer the questions. But uh, maybe about me a little bit more. So I said shortly. Um, now I'm advising a faculty of money, so it's a lot uh, of functional work. I'm not happy with that, but administration is necessary, someone has to do it. But uh, generally what I, what I do uh, scientifically is uh, this uh, concept of virtual laboratories, and I apply it in two dimensions. The first <coughs> one is for, uh, for education, uh, for uh, transferring also digital and soft skills through that concept the young people. It's like you, for example, you do an experiment in the laboratory as a student, but in fact, uh, you acquire new digital skills, something like this, very simply. So it's like uh, you don't understand it, but you get it. Because usually when, when they tell you that you have to learn something, uh, if I tell the students, okay, now you do the experiment, and you have to, I will ask you for your new digital skills, then they all got this a lot. So it's something, it's something like uh, they don't understand. It. And of course, the other uh, the other dimension of my work is applying this concept in, in uh, measurement procedures, measurement processes. Uh, Thank you, Vladislav.